Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, I got another question from that event, which I thought was just awesome. Um, so the question, it really made me think though, and I wanted to come here and answer it for you today. So stay tuned. All right, so the guy was asking, do women or are women craving the actual wedding or the actual relationship and the love and everything that comes along with the relationship? I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, this question actually made me sit back and think because <laughs> I think that a lot of people actually enter into relationships and especially marriage for the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I think that there are many people who are not looking for the love aspect of the relationship, the struggle aspect of the relationship, the let me be super vulnerable aspect of the relationship. Some people, specifically women in this instance, unfortunately, but... Um, we have a tendency to focus a whole lot on the actual wedding, the build up to the perfect day that we've been dreaming about all of our lives to put on that white, gorgeous, fluffy dress with bustier up here and going out into this marvelous, extravagant bottom. <laughs> and... We're focused on how many bridesmaids and how many groomsmen and where my parents going to sit and what the colors are, what the venue is, how big my rock is. And you going with the hip like you just going, you going ham for this wedding for this one day. Not realizing that's just the beginning. And because most people have not done their homework on their spouse i.e. asking a million and one questions. Like some people don't even know the basic information about their spouse, like the social security number, like their birth date, like what color is their favorite color? What's their favorite food? What, what do you know about this guy that you actually wanting to run down the aisle with? Men, what do you know about her other than that fine ass she has? What else is she offering? What else is she bringing to the table? A lot of us have these fantasies about what the relationship will be once we get there. We think that everything is just going to automatically fall into place and we're going to have one of those spectacular, playful, fun, loving, respectful um, relationships. Ladies and gentlemen, those relationships are actually cultivated. They're created. They do not just happen. Now, it's easier to cultivate and create a relationship like that when you guys are on the same page, i.e. you have done your homework about this person. You know that your goals in life, they will be supportive of and the goals that you have for where you're going in life, meaning the family life that you want to build with your significant other, they are on the same page. Are you going to agree about everything? No. But it has to be the majority of things that you know that what you want and what your potential spouse wants, this person that you were trying to go down the aisle wants, y'all want the same diggity dog on thing, especially at the time that you're getting married. I get it that you guys are going to evolve and, and change, especially if you're starting to do a lot more self-help care on yourself. You guys are going to grow, but you want that growth to be together, but you really want to have that foundation already laid so you're not setting yourself up to get that divorce, to be a part of the statistic. Ask a million and one questions. I always say that, and I'm going to continue to say that because questions, you actually set yourself up to know what's up here from the person. What are they thinking about? 
How do they think? Is it something that you can deal with? Are you able to actually watch how this person is? Have you seen this person angry? Do you know about this person's uh, finances, their bank statements, their taxes? Okay, maybe not necessarily the bank statements, and depending on how long y'all been together, though. Do you know if they owe taxes? How caught up are they on their child support? If they have a child or children, do they see their kids? Are their kids an integral part of who they are? Are you two planning on having children? See, the very thing that they're doing with their children right now, if you become the ex, guess what? More than likely, the same thing that they're doing with the previous children, now your children will be subjected to that same thing. We have to figure out and understand. And actually, skirt, let me back up. Let me go back to the children. Do you even know if this person wants to have children? Because unfortunately, I've heard this so much. People don't even ask the question for fear of running the guy or the girl off. Or they told you that they do not want to have children. And guess what? You did not believe them. And now y'all having so many freaking issues in your relationship because one of you guys want to have children really, 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 really bad. And you didn't realize how bad you wanted children until after you got married and your spouse is very adamant about not giving you that child. Whether it's the woman saying she don't want to mess with her body or she's building her business or she just don't want to have kids. You didn't believe her. And so because her fine body is what attracted you to her, you stayed there. And now you're trying to get to change this very essence of who she is. That is something she never wanted to compromise on, but you didn't believe her. Or ladies, he told you that he had enough kids or that he just don't want to have kids. He don't want the burden, whatever it is that his explanation was. But you thought because I find you was, you cooking and cleaning, you doing what you're doing. He going to give you that. But he was very adamant about it in the dating stages. But you didn't believe him because once I get married, he's going to give me what I want. Some people don't want to have kids or some people are done having children. But you never know because you never even asked the question. See, ladies and gentlemen, you have to ask all of the questions that are beneficial for yourself. And does it work out with this other person coming into your life? Is your world going to actually mesh together well? So again, to go back to the question, I think a lot of people do get married for the wrong reason. A lot of people do get married for the wedding versus the actual love versus the relationship. Some people are looking for that come up and then they wonder why they're miserable. They wonder why they're cheating. They wonder why they are um, emotionally struggling in their relationship because they never really was really attracted to the person. But because they were coming up, they were getting this big house or getting this nice car they married him or they married her, whatever. Knowing good and doggone well, she really didn't pull at the heartstrings or he didn't really come in and, and woo you like he should have been wooing you and truly getting to understand who you are, how you act as a person and just seriously, what makes you tick and what doesn't. Y'all didn't really go through that stage. There was always some type of blockage up there. From one of you or maybe even both of you. You never really wanted to let down your guard to let this person in. And sometimes men, unfortunately, you just go along with the plan. Women do this too. Don't get me wrong. But by and large, from what I've listened to and heard the majority of the time is that men just kind of go along with the plan because this is the next thing that they should be doing. Because we've been together for so many years. I know she's expecting the ring. I know she's expecting to get married. So let me get married. Ah, uh, no. You set yourself up for failure. If you are in a situation like that, don't, self don't set yourself up for failure. Get out of that relationship and get with somebody who you truly want to be with, who you truly want to give the world to them. Maybe you don't want, I'm going to go back to the kids. Maybe you don't want to have kids, but because it's them, because they are so good to you, and you guys have this excellent connection. You're like, you know what? I'm going to actually open back up my womb to her. I'm going to actually have kids with her. I want her to have my child. But some people just don't do enough research on their partner. And I, I, 
I'm not a person who avidly even believes in doing the whole background check, typing in their name. I'm not a person that believes in that. Do I know people that do it? Yes, I do. I've never done it because I don't think that I should have to do that. All I got to do is verbally ask you some stuff. And enough time will pass where I'm able to see your true character. And unfortunately, a lot of us, we see the red flags, but we don't do anything about them because why would I want to start back all over? I mean, I've been with her for this long or I've been with him for that long. I don't want to start back over. Then I got to go through the whole dating phase again. And, and I hated that. And then I got to start going. To, uh, it's just excuses, ma'am. Just excuses, sir. And you only set yourself up for a mad failure in the end. Seriously. That divorce rate. Some people absolutely do get married for the benefit of the being in a relationship, like the bills are being covered because two incomes are now coming in. But you will absolutely adore the person if you just struggle through living in that one bedroom or that studio, meeting the right person and y'all building a life together versus getting with the wrong person building a life together only to have it all ripped away from you because you are now getting divorced or you're staying there in this horrible relationship because you don't want to start all over you don't want to lose the lifestyle that you're um, living or you don't want to um let the community see that you have been a part of the failing divorce crowd so you're just pretending in everybody's face, y'all are a couple that they just, oh my God, they love you guys. But behind closed doors, you are lonely. Don't do it to yourself. You see them red flags? Move on. You did your deal breakers list and he's not meeting or she's not meeting what you want, what you want, what you need. I'm talking about like the top five, the ones where you can't even live without. If you decide that you are going to jump into a relationship, these top five things or even top 10, whatever, you can't live without those things and they're not meeting them. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Like know that you are worth the next person coming along, like basically you're worth the wait. You are. And so just jumping in, just saying I do for the sake of the how big your rocky is, but you miserable, that don't add up to me. It, 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 that, that, that's just asinine to me. It, it does not add up to me. Like I'm walking around and everybody, oh my God, your ring is fire. Oh, oh, uh, and everybody doing that. But when you like, oh, really, I can give it to you. Like that's what you're thinking. I really can give it to you. It's really not all that it's cracked up to be. Like mine is small, but I love it. I'm happy. I love it. And people, even people with them 10, 12, 20 carats. I mean, I haven't seen 20, but I'm just saying, you get what I'm saying? That the rocks are big. They are hating their lives. I feel sorry for them, actually. Somewhat. On the other hand, I don't because all of us have the choice to take the power back and to create the relationship and the life that we want. And if that means getting out of the one that you are currently in, get out of it. If that means walking away before you say I do, walk away. You got control over your life. You got control over your, I mean, your entire life. Obviously, within reason, because y'all know I'm a Christian, so God is directing my path. And if he is saying yes to a certain thing, then it is that. But, sis, bruh, pray about that situation. If you ask for a sign from God, you have to be ready to receive it when he's telling you to walk away. He's giving you every sign in the book that this person is not for you. And you just like, you know what? I don't want to take that in. No, 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 no. I was actually listening to um, Stephen Labossier uh, Le or Labossier. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Anyway, um, he was basically saying that he was coaching one lady and she had brought out a letter to him. Now, she's been married for 25 years and. 
she kept the letter that her now husband had wrote her before they got married and she showed it to him. And he said after he finished reading the letter, he was like, why did you get married to him in the first place? And she basically was saving face. You know, she had been there with him for so long. She loved him. But she seen all the red flags. She knew that that really wasn't the relationship she was supposed to be in. But for 25 plus years, because that was 25 years of marriage, not the years that she spent before they got married. Just throwing away your life. And she knew it wasn't right. And she wondered why she was having such a tough time in her relationship. She wasn't supposed to be there. But she went against everything that she knew she should have walked away from. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be that person. Don't be that person. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this particular question yourself. Y'all already know I always go off on a tangent. So, um, <laughs> definitely, what are your thoughts on why most people get married nowadays? Is it for the actual wedding or is it for the relationship? I definitely want to hear what you guys think. Of course, give me thumbs up. Definitely. Subscribe to this channel if this is your very first time here or if, if you have been coming and you have been enjoying my content But have yet to hear that red subscribe button because here at I love me me I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy healthy romantic relationships So we together collectively can decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. I will see you in a future video Deuces